Back here at home today marks six months since a gunman opened fire inside a Monterey Park dance hall and killed 11 people. Local leaders and victims' families gathered this morning with a renewed push to end gun violence. Fox 11's Christy Fajardo has more. It's been six months of heartache and six months of calls for change. And on the six month anniversary of the mass shooting inside this Monterey Park ballroom that killed 11 people, U.S. Representative Judy Chu and victims family members like Christine Reedy say it's time for Congress to act. I got my dad's coroner's report on the 4th of July. That's very significant to me. And I found out how many bullets took his life. Just one. That's why Congresswoman Chu says she is introducing two bills to bolster red flag laws across the nation. She believes the 72 year old who went on a murder spree this past January might have been stopped if local Asian immigrant communities had known about the state's red flag laws that allow courts to seize firearms from dangerous individuals. The gunman exhibited angry and paranoid ideation when he walked into a police station only two weeks prior accusing the family of poisoning him. All the while he was stockpiling guns and ammunition. One of the bills she's introducing would fund public awareness campaigns about red flag laws in multiple languages, including Cantonese and Vietnamese. The other bill, called the Fair Legal Access Grant or FLAG Act, would provide millions in funding for family members Thank and others so much, who need legal we services for navigating the red flag process. To me, there should be no argument. Uh, there's such common sense. There should be very little debate about it. Chu believes she will get bipartisan support and says she already has the support of mass shooting survivors and the families they left behind. It just takes one bullet to end a person's life. One bullet, one second, one gun in the wrong person's hand. In Monterey Park, Christy Fajardo, Fox 11 News.